Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into 922 Hinman, number GA. It's a big two bedroom ground apartment. It's on Hinman and May. It's just north of May Street. Uh, I'm walking towards the window, which is facing north. If I look out the, uh, the picture window, you see Hinman there. And again, we're just north of Maine. As I pan around from the window, you can see my voice, hear my voice echo. And you see it's got tile floors. You get just a glimpse of the kitchen. Big entry closet. You can see the front door where we came in. Uh, it has baseboard heat, and you saw the air conditioner and the opening frames. If I turn to the right, as I approach the uh, entry closet, you see a big dining area. That is at least eight by, or rather six by 10. Uh, it has its own ceiling fan and light fixture. The entry closet has a uh, shelf and a hanging bar. I think it's probably about six feet across. You see it goes from end to end, and it is about two feet deep. So it's a real nice entry closet. If I swing back from the entry closet, you see the dining area first, the intercom by the front door, again the air conditioner, the uh, picture window, and the baseboard heat. The baseboard is like radiator heat, it's a central boiler system, but it's spread out, so it's a little more even heat. Again, the apartment is tile um, floors. And if I go to my left, we get a big kitchen. Now the kitchen's really big, especially if you compare it to uh, um, like vintage kitchens. The appliances are new. There's lots of cabinet space. It's a laminate countertop, but it looks like rock and is super clean. More cabinets over the stove and counter. Cabinets underneath. We have a new stove. The stove top, or new oven rather, the stove top is brand new. So you can see it's never been used. We have a nice new, still have the wrapping on it, uh, stove uh, hood with a brilliant little filter back there that really works and a light switch. Uh, I, oops, I lost you there. Let's see if I, if I move it a little bit, if we can get it back in focus, there we go. Brand new stainless steel sink, two twin sinks, hose attachment for our dishes, and again a close up of the uh, counter. We have outlets on the walls, and there's another outlet there, and a full size fridge. I think the fridge, which is also brand new, is about 5 feet 10 inches high. There's the freezer with the shelves on the left. And the inside, crisper drawers on the bottom, butter dish and shelves on the left. Again, we have the tile floors. Some of the cabinets are drawers. The cabinets underneath are nice because they're quite a bit deeper. So you can put your pots and pans in down there. Water pressure in this building is awesome. So I'll turn this on. And again, we just have the hot water, but you can see it's very good water pressure. It's draining beautifully. A lot of counter space with more cabinet space. Go under the stove hood. And you can see we've got a can of paint down there, but you can put anything down there. It's quite deep. It's at least two feet deep. Oh, it's not easy for me to stand up. The stove, uh, the oven rather, is new and is completely, not just clean, but utterly unused. So that's really nice. If I turn around, we see the living room again. And if I turn back, we have the back door that will take you to the laundry area, the oven, the stove top, Cabinets both above and below. Counter space, outlet. Twin stainless steel sink with a hose attachment. 
more counter space, lots of cabinets, full size new fridge, and a ceiling fan with a second light fixture above a table, which is what it was designed for. And I guess that's what I'm overlooking. If I stand in the corner and go the other way, you see how much space there is for a table. So it's really nice. You have a dining area plus a kitchen table area. So that's really good space, good usable space. If we go past the entry closet, we get our first glimpse of the bathroom. To the left is the bigger bedroom. And to the right is a little bit smaller bedroom. We'll start with the big bedroom, probably 10 by 12 or so, twin closets. AC unit, the window is facing east, so you get good light. It's afternoon, but you can still see it's very bright. You see the baseboard heat. The closets are, again, like the six foot closets. The shelf, two feet deep, each has its own light fixture. Again, two feet deep. This might be, oh no, this goes back a long way this way. So they're both six feet. So it's just really good closet space. And you see the strength for the light fixture. If I step into the closet, you can see the size of the bedroom going the other way. Easily, easily, easily get a queen size bed in here. All the walls have outlets, so that makes it very easy to use. As I walk out of the bedroom, we look back to the right, to the front door. Across from the bath, we have a linen closet. Nice to have. The bath is super clean. You see the tile floors, a tank toilet, a new pedestal sink, nice mirror and shelf. Shower head that is also new, that's about 6'2". The tiles are super clean. I hope that's coming across well. Oops, that is not. Let's see if I can get this back in focus here. Come on now. There, that helps. So again, the tiles are squeaky clean. I'm going to turn on the hot water. Again, I know the water pressure is terrific. And you can see it's just blasting out. I've got it aimed towards the wall. I could even pull that up a little bit more and get a little more pressure, but I don't want to get wet. And you can see it's also draining real well. So I just shut that down. Whoops. Got to change hands here. There we go. So again, there's the uh, pedestal sink. I can give this a roll point too. That's really nice. Nice clean toilet. I don't think that's new, but it's super clean. Take another look at the linen closet. Spin around past the small bedroom. Give you one last look. It's also nice to have those nice clean windows up above. I mean, those are easy to open. These are all new windows. This is a nice, clean apartment. So that's the bath. The second bedroom is a smidge smaller. This is probably more like eight by 10, something like that. You see the AC unit. Again, the window is facing east. Baseboard heat, tile floors, outlets on every wall. This just has one single closet with shelf and hanging bar. And again, there's not much traffic on Hinman. Nice, pretty street, four blocks west of the lake. And I'll give you a look across the uh, closet, about two feet deep. And one last look, oh, for crying in the night. Let's see if I can get something to focus on. I think what happens when the light contrast goes 
real quickly when I change the light contrast. I lose the focus and I apologize for the poor camera work. But this bedroom is big enough for a queen size bed as well. Take one more look and head out of the uh, second bedroom, past the bath, past the bigger bedroom, big living room, dining area, eat-in kitchen, which is what I didn't say, and I can't believe I didn't say it. I missed the whole boat by not saying that, but eat-in kitchen with new appliances, lots of cabinets, lots of counter space. And that brings us back, oh, there we go, to the front door. Thanks for watching.